We have loved our Ninja Creamy. But it's time to get rid of it. What? Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time I don't want the Ninja Creamy to hear what Joe is saying, you'll be alerted to it. So we have absolutely loved our Ninja Creamy. This has been a trusted friend. What are you talking about? We're getting rid of our Ninja Creamy. Listen, I mean, we've loved it. And two years ago, we made a video when they first came out and we made Keto Chow ice cream in it. And honestly, it has changed everything about our keto lifestyle. It changed, first of all, the way we eat keto chow because prior to the Ninja Keto uh, Creamy, we, we did drink a lot of keto chows we because did. we're super busy lives the way they intended them to be. Like as a shake, have it in the refrigerator, we're running out the door, grab it. Then we started using our Vitamix to make ice cream yes. sort of, which was pretty good. And then we upgraded to the bowl. The oh, we had the bowl. Yeah. And then we did the compressor ice cream maker, which is actually in the garage now. It used to be on top of the refrigerator, but we have not used that thing in two years because the Ninja Creamy changed everything for us. It really did. To, to use a phrase from our pre-keto days, it was like, why don't we slice the bread before we serve right. it, right? Absolutely. It just, it just made that big of a difference in utilizing keto chow. And I have to say now, I cannot tell you the last time I bought store-bought ice cream. We don't. We, we used just to don't. buy Enlightened or Rebel. We used to buy them all. We used to have them shipped to the house. Do you remember we that? We can even have like ice cream if we're doing some sort of a carnivore challenge because we can use the keto core. Right. You can even use the unsweetened keto core yep. and be able to enjoy ice cream. Yeah, the creamy, we don't buy regular ice cream because personally I think the keto chow ice cream made with the creamy is best. Is better than any store-bought ice cream. I mean, even our kids like it over regular like Haagen-Dazs kind of ice cream. So why are you treating it like this? It's time to get rid of this thing. It's, it's gone. We, we got to get rid of the Ninja Creamy. Listen, a, a couple months ago, I broke the lid. It took me three months to get the part. You can't even get parts for this thing anymore. It is hard to also purchase a new one if you should well, want a new one. Actually, this is the seven in one. Good luck finding one. Yeah. Um, and that's what happened is, is I broke mine. I did get the finally the part. I found like a back end into their system. Like they weren't available on the creamy website, but they were available on the Ninja website. Kind of weird. Um, but you can find the five and one and seven one. And I found out why you can't why get the five and one and seven one because Ninja Creamy came out with a new one. A brand new creamy. That's the back. Well, no, that's the front too. This is deluxe. Actually, they came out with two of them. They have one called the Ninja Breezy. Why is that not here? Where is that? Because I can't get it. I've been looking and looking for it. If Joe can't get it, do they even make it? Is I, it even a thing? I did see on some website, I feel like it was... Is it Bigfoot? No, I feel like it may have been like Best Buy or Target and said coming like July 1st. Where is this even coming from? I got this directly How? from Ninja. Now, Let's let's say this. We are not sponsored by Ninja no. at all. I wish we were because we love Ninja products. We are hey, awesome. Ninja, we're open for a sponsorship deal. But at the present time that we are recording this video, no calls. they've never called us. They've never offered to sponsor us. We purchased this with our own money. I purchased it off of the Ninja website. I purchased all the Ninja Creamies in the past with our own money because not only did we buy one, we gave... One to your mother, one to your to our sister-in-law. We gave one to our kids, and we gave three of them away on our channel. All purchased with our own money. They don't sponsor us. I don't think mommy has one. 
I was, no, maybe she doesn't have she one. She doesn't have one. That year, we got her another cooking device that she thought that she would use more. Okay. But, but we maybe a she's lot of getting them. an old, gently used Ninja yeah. Creamy. We, we have bought a lot of them, is my we point. Have With our own lot. money. We are also not ninjas. No. I've always wanted to be a ninja. I think that's really cool, but that is also something that is not us. So... They have the Ninja Breezy, which is 16 ounces. And when we can get one, I will buy one to compare it. To okay. let you know should you upgrade. Should we ever because find one? Because it's supposed to be space-saving, which this thing is definitely not space-saving design, right? Yeah. No. And then they have the Deluxe. And when I saw the features of the Deluxe, I was like, I got to have that. What does this do that my baby can't do? A lot. But what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do is we're going to unbox it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you here a unboxing and review of the Ninja Creamy Deluxe and let you know should you upgrade or- Is it worth it? If you don't have one and you're considering getting one, should you get the Deluxe or should you look for an old one of the the original one or even hang out for the Breezy? All right. Okay, so let's, let's first of all unbox it. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult with the camera angle. <laughs> They're saying it's an 11 in one. So yes, this is an 11 in one. It does, does do it, some extra features. Does it do laundry? So we got instructions. We don't need no instructions, just kidding. We might. Okay. Okay. All right. Turn it like this. There's the cord. Okay. Ooh, how pretty. So we got a container. Right off the bat, that is enormous. So we got all that. Wow. Let's, let's compare size to the old one. Yeah. Might as well do this all together. So. Huh. Okay. Not bad. It's slightly taller. Taller. Slightly taller. And then I think it's slightly wider. Not but, not really. Maybe, I mean, slightly not wider. Not like I thought it was going to be, judging from that container. Yeah. Look at the size of that container. So, yeah, definitely uh, a slight difference in size. A little bit taller. Hopefully this fits under our cabinet. I don't even know if the old one fits under our cabinet. Tear the cabinet out. We'll figure it out. Priorities. Okay. Let's put these off to the side and then talk about a couple things. Okay, so before we get started using this thing, can you explain to me why we're even contemplating getting a new thing? Like, what is it that's so great about this, features-wise? Okay, a couple of things. There's actually several things. Some of them address some of the complaints that I had with the original Ninja Creamy. First of all, let's talk about size. So that's the original Ninja Creamy container. Yeah. That's the new one. Okay, so that's huge. I will say that it has been a frustration because our entire purpose for the Ninja Creamy is it is a conveyance for Keto Chow. Yes, and, so I have a Keto Chow here. And a Keto Chow does not fit all the way, this one just came out of the dishwasher because we use the, the ice cream all the time, um, but an entire keto chow does not fit in one of these containers. Right, so when you make a keto chow, a keto chow is supposed to be like 24 to 26 ounces. Right. So I think that's one of the mistakes that some people make when, when they first get keto chow, they're like, oh, it's really salty or it's got a nasty mineral taste. A lot of times it's because they're not adding enough water. Right. Because they add in their fat source, like, you know, and we always suggest a minimum of three to four tablespoons of melted butter or three to four ounces of heavy cream. Um, literally minimum three to 400 calories of fat. It's a meal. And then fill it up with water. And when we say fill it up with water, we go to right below the threads. But right. the, the Keto Chow instructions do say 16 ounces. So if you've got 16 ounces of water, minimum, plus you've got your powder plus your fat source, like if you're using heavy cream, that's four ounces, you're already over 20 ounces. Right. But this only holds 16 ounces. So you, we would fill this up, and then you gotta figure out what are you doing with the residual keto chow. So we've got here as a keto chow, right? And we're gonna fill it up, but we've got some left. Now, I could drink this. Coffee creamer. You can use it as coffee creamer. Yeah. Um, a lot of what we found was making Three keto, two keto chows would give us three creamies right. if, I, if I'm doing that so right. So you could spread it across. I mean, But that was a pain. We've tried to problem solve the issue. The That's other it. thing that you can do is, and this is what we started doing, was we started making a 16 ounce keto creamy. Just here's the keto chow, put in our four tablespoons of melted butter, 
and then fill up to water. But the problem is now it does have a slight mineral taste because I'm missing a about six to 10 ounces of water in there. And it makes a difference as far as how it tastes. So first of all, this fixes it because this container is now larger. They say 50% larger. Um, I think it holds 26 ounces. So, it so definitely, obviously this was a 24 ounce thing. I'm actually gonna add water to bring it all the way up to the fill line. But at least we ain't losing no keto chow. So that's gonna do two things for us. Well, number one, I'm not gonna snack. Right. Because I have been guilty of when we have a little bit left over, this does not a meal make, and yet I could be meal prepping, not even during meal time, and just be swigging this. Right, so that is one thing. So. This is addressing a couple of problems for us. Number one, we can now fit a full keto chow in here. Yes. Number two, we tend to split one creamy between the two of us because both of us have a hard time eating the entire thing. Like we can as a meal, but a, mo a lot of times it's part of our dinner. We're gonna have like brisket and, a keto, and keto chow ice cream. That's our dinner. And so we split it. Now we're having an actual decent amount because like you can have half of this or half of that. So, but again, we're having the same amount of fat. The only thing that's changed is the water content. Super nice. Okay, so that is one thing is that you've got a larger container. Here's another thing that this one addresses. This machine allows you to have mix-ins in the top, in the bottom, you can actually have two different types of mixins, which we're going to attempt. I've not read the instructions, I just know what it's supposed to do. Okay, so this is a feature that I think is more important to you than me because I always get the first serving. Right, so you it. get the top, I get the bottom. But there's mixins in the top. But our findings with the original Ninja Creamy is the mixins never made it all the way to the bottom, or at least most of the mixins didn't make I it to the bottom. I got a lot more mixins. So this machine is supposed to allow you to have it where it only mixes it in the top or it mixes it all the way or supposedly according to the box and the website i have not watched any videos on this purposely right so that if we screw up you see our screw up um supposedly you can actually have it where the top has one mix in and the bottom has another mix in i will be blown away like i have no socks and on i have fixed that but my socks will be blown off one of our normal mixins is this we actually have a happens. review video on this seven what is it seven sundays you got to get the keto one keto friendly yes yeah, some people said it's not keto because it's got some dehydrated banana it's I, rachel keto it, it's got it has no sweeteners in it. And it's like, what, nine total carbs for an entire serving and we're not using a whole serving. So this is our normal thing. But what we're gonna do is instead, we're gonna try to mix in, when we make one, Lily's chocolate chips in one half and Rachel's favorite peanuts in the those other. Those will be very distinct. Right, this way we'll know, did it mix it all the way. So right. that's the next thing. The other problem is, is there's a lot of times where one of us wants ice cream and the other one doesn't. Yes, so this was not always the case. But now, what if he wants to eat dinner and I wanna eat lunch? Right. And so when he wants to have an ice cream as part of his meal. And I only wanna have half. Now, you're you're kind of done with it. throwing it out. Yeah, because it doesn't, re, you can't remix. So, you can. What I found was is with this one, if, let's say I only ate half, you can go in with like a spatula, smooth it out, and then you can sort of re-creamy it later. But what I found was I had to do a lot of re-spins, a lot because it would just come up powder because it didn't have enough. And so then you had to add water and it changed it. It just, it didn't work right. So with this machine, supposedly, you're able to say, I want to do half the whole container or I only want to do the half and save the other half for wow. later. So again, that's a huge game changer. In I'll addition, be it does have some other settings, like supposedly you can make like margaritas with it. Hello. Uh, slushies, which in another video, maybe in a vlog, we will attempt to make like, I'm thinking. Let's do like um, a Redmond one. I'm or... thinking about a Redmond Relight slushy. Yeah. I'm all about that. Right, so we'll have to do that in another video so we don't make this video really long. So those are the, some of the major differences. Um, I don't remember all of the different ones. If we look on the box here. 
Okay, so here's on the box. So some of the new that has a milkshake mode. Now, some of these are not going to apply to keto. No. But they will apply if you're in a house and you have non-keto people. Like, even for something like Peyton. Oh, Who can definitely. have fruit. Right. Right? Where you could take, like, fresh mangoes when they're in season, because we only eat locally grown in season. Make a slushy. Freeze them. Yeah. Or in sorbet. the container. And make her a mango sorbet. Yeah. With much cleaner ingredients than buying a store. So, yeah, so it's got like the mix and feature milkshake. It's got a sorbet thing. Oh, here's the, the new one. Frozen drinks, slushies, cream of chinos, Italian ice and frozen yogurt. I think that this is great. And here is a, an awesome thing that you can do with like you're saying any non-keto people in your life. Be like, mom and dad are not bringing in anything that's like wonky ingredients. We're, right. we're not bringing in like the popsicles we used to, to buy. So if you want a treat that's not one that I'm providing, you're gonna need to make it yourself. And you're gonna find that people, when there's work to be done, are like, forget it, I don't even need it anyway. You're ready to make it creamy? Yes. Okay, so we've got the same kind of setup as the other one where you have this outer bowl and then you have the inner bowl. It came with two. But when we ordered it, we preemptively ordered an extra four of these because we like to keep a bunch of keto chops frozen so that Meal when prep. we want an ice cream, yep. all you gotta do is stick it in the machine. No so it's got about the it. same kind of paddle as the old one. Uh, one thing I have looked on their website, you cannot use the old paddle in the new machine and you cannot use the new paddle in the old machine. However, if you do upgrade to the Breezy, or maybe yours breaks and you have to get a Breezy, um, the Breezy paddle Will is in interchangeable with the original five and seven one, but not with the larger one. Good to Obviously know. because this is probably Way a bigger. larger paddle. So you can see this paddle does not, not fit in here, and here fit, it does. Yeah. So, um, But same kind of lid and all that, so we're just gonna go ahead and Put our lid on like that. And a lot of this we're gonna guess. Have you read the instructions? Cause I haven't. I have not. I, I'm assuming it's gonna be very similar. Yeah. So I also had another idea. So I've got one of our favorite flavors for ice cream. Pistachio? Pistachio. So pistachio. we're gonna make pistachio. By the way, when this happens, don't worry about it. I've never had a problem when this happens. Um, a lot of times it's the air trying to escape. And, <laughs> One thing I have found, I have another one over here. Even if you leave the lid off, it does it a little bit. But what you can do is leave, leave the lid off and sometimes that helps it. Okay, what, we're, what I was thinking is we're gonna make this, we're gonna try the double mix in. But here was the other thing. If you can blend the top and the bottom. Yes. Could you, this was a lot of work to try, but could you freeze one flavor I thought when I, by the way, started doing this that it was literally two pints, which it's not. It's one and a half pints. Oh. So I put a full creamy in the bottom and then found out the top is not the same size. But what I was thinking is. Could you make a swirl? Could you make a swirl? Oh. So we have mixed, I mixed two of them actually. Two different colors. Here powders. is the new strawberry cream and vanilla cream from Keto Chow. Okay. And then this one, because it's gonna be obvious if it does work, is <laughs> vanilla. In chocolate? No, no, it was banana and chocolate peanut butter. Oh, hello, I hope so that works. I figure we can do, after we do the regular one, we can do it and see, can we create a swirl ice cream? Cause that would be really that cool. That would be really Or does rad. it just become one big flavor? Which I wouldn't complain, banana and chocolate. It's gonna be delicious. Wouldn't be different, right? People mix keto chows all the time. Okay, so we're gonna put this in. So just like the other one, make sure you twist it to lock it in. The lid goes on, so just like, a normal, the regular one. This goes in, twist it up. Twist and shout. So we've got a dial, top, full, or bottom. We're gonna go full, right? And then we... Well, do you wanna do the both of them? Yeah, we're have, gonna do the, the one, thing. the whole thing. We wanna blend the whole thing. So let's do it that way first. We always use the light ice cream when we're making keto chow. Because yes. it's a lot more water than traditional ice cream. That uh, Traditional ice cream has a lot of cream. Yeah, so Milk. we found that using light ice cream setting, at least with the original Ninja Creamy, 
Light ice cream setting twice always gave us the perfect consistency and we never had to re-spin. Did you put gum in this? Uh, I did put an eighth of a teaspoon of tarragon. So just like we normally would, but it worked without it. So we're gonna switch this to light ice cream. So I guess they're saying it's gonna take four minutes. You to ready? the whole thing, yes. Okay, so press it. There we go. Okay, so we've run it through one time. Let's go ahead and check it. I'm going to assume that we need to redo it. Okay. Okay. Yes, it is powdery. powdery. This is completely normal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just, we're gonna do it the way we've always done it. And that is put it back in, put it up, and we're gonna go to full. Just a friendly reminder before you hit the button because it gets very loud. If you do not take out the entire entire container, you can't just hit you have to at least light drop ice it. cream. Yeah, you have to at least drop it. Okay, you ready? Yes. I don't know. Here we go. Press the button, pull it out. It's oh, looking yeah. good. Looking real good. Let's see. That is, oh yeah. yeah. That is the consistency of the ice cream that we want. It is amazing how this really tastes like a like a soft serve, fresh churned ice cream, something that you would get from a fancy store, not something you're gonna buy over the counter. Hello. Pistachio. It's awesome. If you have not tried pistachio keto chow as an ice cream, please do yourself a favor and make it. Okay, so we're gonna try the mix in. I did cheat a little bit. Not on me. No, not on you. And look in the instructions on how to do the mix-ins to do the top and the bottom half. Okay. So, I don't know if we did this right, but we're gonna try something different. All right. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is blend just the top half of the ice cream. So make, do the pistachio, tell it, I only wanna do the top. Do the top, do the mix-ins, scoop it out, oh, and then do the bottom. Oh, okay. So instead what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make a hole, because it says to make a hole halfway down, and we're, what do, mix-ins do you want in your ice cream? Peanuts? I want, I want peanuts. You want peanuts. I'm the peanut girl around here. Okay, so we're gonna put, I don't know, that much peanuts in there. Okay. Okay. We're gonna put this on here. Now will that blend it all throughout? I don't know. We're gonna, gonna we're gonna try this. Are you gonna push like bottom? So we're gonna tell it to only do the top. Okay. And then we're gonna tell it to do a mix in. We'll see. Let's see. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So Hold are we up. thinking that it's gonna be mostly on the top? Oh wow. Okay. It does look mostly on the top. Whoa. Huh, I'm gonna tell you, I am not seeing all, uh, any peanuts down there. It like, it's like it put it at the top. Let's do the same thing. All right. We'll make a hole. I'm gonna make the hole a little bit bigger and try that. But I see loads of peanuts in this portion. I'm gonna put that much. The only problem with this is maybe we should have done instead of two light ice creams, uh, we should have done a light ice cream and then a respin because as you're mixing it in, it's actually defrosting a little bit. Okay. But again, we're, we're this is we're winging. We're just it. trying it for the first time. Okay, so now we're gonna hit bottom, and then mix in. It does say it's taking a little bit longer though. Before it said one minute, now it says two. Check this out. Now it's not as melted as I thought it was going to be. No, I thought it would be like gravy. I'm going all the way to the bottom. Is there chocolate chip in the bottom? Mm-hmm. Yes, there's chocolate. I mean, they're white, so it's a little bit harder to see, but I can see them. Mm-hmm. That is good. That is good. It's absolutely the consistency we rem remember. It's not like getting something new is gonna be less good. I like the taste of this better, I think, because more water. Because we didn't add any sweetener or anything like that. Yeah. Now. We have, we're gonna make another ice cream. We haven't eaten dinner yet. So 
I don't know if this is gonna work. We won't even show it on this video. We're gonna put all this back in. And we're gonna I'm gonna try flatten it out. And see if it'll And then we're gonna, this. like, you'll find out in another video. Just make sure you're subscribed. Did it um, work? Can we re-creamify this later? Which I'm sure we can. But I want to try the chocolate vanilla or chocolate I just banana. wanna see if it will swirl. Okay, so now we're gonna try the top half only thing. Yes. That's first wing we wanna try. And then we also want to try the swirl. I don't have a lot of hope for this swirl, but it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot to see if it'll work. And I think we have to use the chocolate peanut butter banana because Not it's gonna be visually. Strawberry vanilla? I don't think there's a strong enough visual. Okay, oh, you wanna see the I wanna swirl. see the swirl if it is possible to do the swirl. Now, obviously, it really needs to be half and half. This is like yeah, I three did, fourths and one three fourth. quarters because again, yeah. I thought that this was actually two of the smallers and it's really one and a half of the smallers. Right. So, cause the way I did this, by the way, is I literally put the chocolate in, I froze it until like you could float something on top. So you had to put it in the freezer for like two or three hours. Extra Then step. go back and fill it up because if you put it all at once, obviously it would just mix right away. But if this works, it's gonna be the coolest looking thing ever. Okay, so, a shot. so this one we're gonna try to swirl. So we're gonna do a full creamy, right? Yeah. And then with the vanilla strawberry, we're gonna try to just do the vanilla. Okay, ready? So we go up and we're gonna go to top, oh no, we're gonna go to full, right? Yep. And then light ice cream. That don't look swirled. Uh, well, again, you're still gonna have to do like another mix. Right. But I don't know. Like I only see vanilla on top. Yeah, but like. But if it could do both flavors, okay, but okay. We need to do another, I, I'm gonna try instead of a mix, instead of another run, let's run a re-spin on this. Okay. I am actually getting like more excited that this might work. Well, I could see if you froze it like like you did. Just take some extra time and do layers. Well, here's why. Because I still see a distinct chocolate and vanilla. Yeah. And again, we only did half and half. Like layers, no, that would be way too much work. It's a lot of work. Like but it'd be two cute. layers would be cool. Uh, let's get a bowl. What I'm actually wondering is if you did a mix in, would it swirl it? Because what I'm looking at is I see vanilla and I see chocolate. Do you see that? Yeah. I wonder if you did a mix, or would a mix-in just completely combine it? I think a mix-in might combine it. Let's see. I don't know, look at that. I uh, see vanilla and I see chocolate. Okay, that is very pretty. I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty. It okay. worked. Okay, so here's what I would do. Especially since now we have vanilla cream and strawberry cream. I would make a, what, Neapolitan? Is that what they call it? Where it was like vanilla, chocolate, strawberry. Right. And then freeze it one layer at a time. That would be cool. Mmm. Hello. Oh my God. Chunky monkey. I got the banana and then I got the chocolate I did and the peanut too. butter. I did too. It worked. It did. I mean, and probably, if you play with it more, you, could you really can really get perfect creative. it. And again, we put too much chocolate and not enough vanilla in this set. But yeah. you can clearly. <laughs> Did you see that? I, he, I'm sorry. Close to my mouth and then taken away? You can clearly see chocolate vanilla. Distinction. There you go. Okay. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to blend just the top because this is a feature I think we're gonna use a lot. This would be a big feature for us where Joe could come back to it later or I could come back to it the next day and be able to still enjoy the ice cream. Plus, here's the other thing I just thought about with that. If it blends only the top or only the bottom, that means we get equal amounts because there may have possibly been times where we did the entire thing and I looked at it, I scoop out yours into you, a bowl. You gave me a visual and, and half. And I go, that looks like it's about half, but there's possibly a chance that I got more ice cream than you. Did you charge me a toll for getting the first share? Is that what that was? Possibly. Okay, let's go ahead. So last thing, we're gonna go only the top, and then we're gonna go to light ice cream. Okay, ready? Yes. We're probably gonna have to do a re-spin on this. Yeah. 
I now this was sitting out because we were filming this video. Yeah. Um, but uh, we only had to do one respin later. Unfortunately, the top camera's battery went dead. Uh, but I can show it to you like this. Okay, so we're gonna do one respin. Uh, I did notice that when you told it only do the top, it was faster. That only took two minutes. Two minutes. So same thing, top, and then we're going to go to respin, right? Yeah. Oh, we gotta. Or yeah. Did you want to do no. light ice cream again? Top, and you're just hitting respin. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Now remember, we were only doing the top. Wow. Okay. You're gonna have to spoon it out to see. Because we want to see, did it only do the top or? Does the rest of it look? Wow, that is some creamy ice cream. Oop, I hear you hitting the frozen part. Yeah, it's a block. Wow. It looks like it did more than half, but it could be like, yeah. So, yeah, it's it's deceiving because the fill to contain line is here. That's the max line. So when you look down, you're like, oh, it did more than half. But if you look at where it is, let me see if I can use a spoon. You can see here. Yeah. That's the top. So and it it's a half. solid block of ice. And if here is the fill line, it is half. Half. So that's pretty exciting that you can do that. Mm. This is the new. This is strawberry cream. Well, and vanilla cream together. The top was vanilla, and but even here, you can do. It's, it's a little bit harder to see, but there's a pink pinky. here. It's got both. And then here is just the vanilla. So we get just vanilla here. That's the new vanilla cream from Keto Chow. That's good. And then, I love the strawberry. I love the strawberry cream. There's the strawberry cream. Strawberry cream. This is what I'm gonna get for like Peyton's first birthday. Like princess colors, right? We're gonna just reuse this later. Don't think we're gonna waste all this ice cream and we certainly are not eating like, what is this? This would be a lot of ice cream. This would be a lot of ice cream. Well, be, basically be three keto chows. So. I could omad this. I've been omatted three keto chows in a day. So that's something to think about. That's a lot. If you're doing, let's say you're like me and you had all your teeth problems, yeah. right? This entire container is still only one serving of keto cha. Hello. One serving. You could be an adult and eat three of these. That is the equivalent of, you ready for this? Four and a half pints of ice cream. Wow. Four and a half pints of ice cream. Talk about- As if, your food. If you like quantity like I do. That is healthy food. And if, here's how we make our ice cream. All of these are made with melted butter. We don't use heavy cream. They're all made with four tablespoons of melted butter. Each one of these is only 500 calories. It's like five, five and change, like 520, something like that. So they're actually not even enough food for you because that, that would be like the bare minimum. Like that's 1500, about 1600, 1600 calories. calories. I would, if you were gonna do this, is this is the only source of food you're gonna eat? Like maybe you're having teeth problems or something like that. Um, up it to six or five or six tablespoons. If you did up to, to five, up to five. You're, you're closer to about 1800, 1900 calories. It's the mere minimum protein 75, but you got your fat in there. But four and a half pints of ice cream is your food for the day? I wouldn't complain. I really like it too this way because it slows me down. If I drink a keto chow shake. That's why we do it as ice cream now. I guzzle it, right? Like I really enjoy it. And and when I get to like the halfway point of the blender bottle, I start to get sad. Cause I'm right. like, gosh, it feels like it's going really fast. So, okay. What are your thoughts? Should somebody who doesn't have a Ninja Creamy at all right now, get this versus the old one. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna say. If you don't have a Ninja Creamy at all, you're in the market for a Ninja Creamy. Again, we haven't tried the Breeze yet. Yeah. Okay, the Breeze, breezy. you can't find it yet. The Breezy, you can't find it. Um, even when I looked on, on Ninja's website, it wasn't available to order yet, this one was. Um, I've seen some stores saying like coming July 1st, that kind of thing. Um, but if you compare this to the old one, 
I'm gonna tell you, if you don't have a Ninja Creamy at all, get the Deluxe. Do not buy the Ninja Creamy original five and one, seven and one, the one that everyone's been buying for well, two years, no be, matter what. They're not gonna be making them, if right? If you can find one on a bargain basement deal of $110, $100, I would still tell you not to buy the old one for two reasons. Number one, I think the Deluxe is better. Now we paid full price. We bought it from Ninja, so we didn't get a sale. Did I you paid, find a coupon or anything? I paid $250, but then there was some kind of like sign up for Ninja's mailing list, you got a coupon. I think it brought it down to like 220. Okay. I'm sure you're gonna, as this comes out, you're gonna find it in stores for $199, $189. I'm sure you're gonna find it in, on sales. I've already seen that, like, I think Best Buy is gonna have this, the deluxe model as a 10 in one. So it's like before you had five in one, seven in one. I'm gonna tell you, it won't matter. It's so long as it's the deluxe where you can make the bigger and have the top and bottom. Who cares about the functions? You're gonna use like three functions on keto. Yeah. Right? So. But so number one, I think the extra functions are worth like an extra $30, $40 because you're gonna get more ice cream in the long run. It's gonna taste better. The fact that you can come back and mix it. Really but here's nice. the other reason I would say, do not buy one of the old ones. Even if you can find a bargain basement, you can't get parts for it. And that's gonna be a problem because I mean, even we have had to replace. It took me two months yeah. to get the replacement lid for the other one. Do you think that you should keep a backup? Like buy a replacement That's, part when you buy one when if you can. If, if you buy, well again, you can't find parts. If you go on Ninja's website, they're still no, sold I mean, out for the, the new original. One. What, I what I'm going to do is just in case, I've got a bunch of the containers. I'm gonna go on probably just to preemptively, the only two things that are really gonna break is your paddle and the lid. Okay. And I'm gonna order a spare. Now they do have a warranty and I know they're really good with warranty, but I don't wanna wait. What if they're out of sock? I'd rather just have a backup. I'm a backup kind of person. We do not like to be without the creamy. Right. So we have to plan ahead. But I even do that with landscaping. I, I, I do that with scuba diving. I dive, Rachel's like, what are you doing? I dive with a backup mask in my pocket, a backup snorkel in my pocket. So I have two computers. I'm a backup person. I have a question. What we gonna do with the old one? You're not gonna just toss it out into the streets. No, the old one's going in the RV. Okay, that's smart. Okay, I now, like um, back to the other question. Should you buy this one over the Breezy? We haven't tried the Breezy. I, I will yet. buy the Breezy out of our own pocket to when test it. we can get one to test it and then tell you better. But I can tell you from what I've seen so far online, looking on their website, the difference between this one and the Breezy is 16 ounces. All the features that you that you upgraded to this are in here, not in the Breezy. The Breezy oh. is really replacing the original one. Same size cup? Same size cup, but you no longer will have this. It is literally the Breezy from what I've seen is this container screws up in it's like not an up and down mechanism. So they're eliminating this on the Breezy and they're eliminating this. I think the Breezy is selling for about $50 less than this. And again, my personal opinion, especially if you're a family of two. Yeah. My personal opinion is this is worth the extra 30 to $50 because of the extra features. I definitely think that this is better if And the you, size. If you are a couple, if you have a partner, if there's more than one person living in the house, I definitely think that this is good. Before I give like Final ruling, I think if for a singleton in particular, I'd like to get the breezy and let's see what do, how does it work with right. it not being like this set up. So can I sell you on the deluxe one more maybe, time before we end this video? Maybe it will be better. Can I sell you one on the deluxe no okay. matter what? I'm gonna sell you right now that you want the deluxe even if you think the breezy is awesome. Bring it. You get an extra 50% of ice cream at no extra calories. I do like that. I'm not gonna lie. Zero extra calories. Yes. 50% more ice cream. You go from 16 ounces to, what is it, 24 or 26 ounces for no, zero, I mean, I know we don't calorie count, zero extra fat, zero extra calories, 50% more ice cream. So I do know. So even if you're a single person, 50% more ice cream at Always no itself. extra cost to you. Well, other and than I, the initial investment in the machine. And I do know that every time I use it. You it would think we work for Ninja. It becomes more valuable, right? So if I only ever make one pint of ice cream, this pint of ice cream cost me $250. 
if I use it often, like we do, I think that uh, right now Ninja owes us money at right. this point, right? Because we've used it so yeah. much. So it really depends on how much to you can really use 50 it. To me, 50% more ice cream and the fact that I can, I can do only half at a time and that to me is a selling point. But overall, let us know, have you yeah. purchased any of the Ninja Creamies? Have you gotten your hands on the Deluxe yet? Which one would you choose if you haven't chosen it? Uh, also, let us know what is your favorite flavor keto chow in ice cream. You know, you don't have to do keto chow too. Like, if you no. have a family of who are not keto chow people, uh, they can all use it too. Cream. It actually comes with a recipe book. Yeah. Uh, also, you can make Carrie Brown's recipes and put She's all of amazing. them in here. She's but got an entire ice cream book. The when I was looking at the thing on the mixins before we end this, oh slushies. I mean, it's got a nice thing in here, but. It said you had to turn to like page 14 to how to make a milkshake, dairy-free, dairy-free coconut vanilla ice cream. You could probably make that and just change out the uh, the sweetener. But when the mix-in thing, so the way they tell you how to do the double mix-in is Rocky Road double cookie ice cream. And yeah. I never thought about this as a mix-in. Are you ready? Yes. Little pieces of Philadelphia cream cheese balled up frozen and use that as a mix-in. Hello. Do we not yes. need to do that? Oh my gosh, that would be delicious. Yes, we need to do that. Let's do that. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you check out our most recent videos I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we make ice cream, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.